What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So if y'all haven't noticed that last night, there was a four-hour live stream with the lead attorney, and he was just talking about things surrounding the case regarding Tasha K and R. Kelly. A lot of people was going to his channel after the live that Tasha K put up yesterday where she was dragging the lead attorney. Now, a lot of people couldn't understand why she was dragging him because he really hadn't said anything bad about her and a lot of people was watching the live, but they couldn't really get into the full four hour live because it was so long, but they was clicking through bits and pieces of it and they just really couldn't find anything that he said wrong about her. So they couldn't understand why she dragged him. And I get it. A lot of people, they see things, they see things as things as clickbait. They may see a title on his channel that said jail on there. Um, he has a lot of titles on his channel. If you can see right here, as you can see right here on his channel, he has a lot of misleading topics that may look messy. They may look like that he's talking about people right here. It says, is Tasha K going to jail over R. Kelly? This one says, I'm not paying. A lot of these titles, they look misleading to you until you click on it and you listen. That's why it's helpful to listen to people to understand what they're talking about and know what they're talking about and not just go off a title. And I think people may have went to her and said that this guy was talking talking about her for four hours and they may have not even listened to the live and then she just probably went off what they were telling her and so I get it that stuff happens all the time but the great thing about this is she was big enough to apologize for it this title here says I shouldn't have done that I was wrong a lot of people was even commenting saying that I know this is this is not right I know that she's messy I know this this and that but I'm just here for the tea and a lot of people they don't care what happens to other people they're just here for the tea they're here for the entertainment they will admit things are wrong and they'll say that they're still in it for the entertainment and a lot of times these people persuade people to act out in a certain way that may not be right and in this case it may have been the reason why Tasha K said what she said before just not looking to looking into the facts just probably listening to what other people had told her about the live video that that he played listen to what she has to say do because like I feel bad about dragging somebody especially when they got my motherfucking name in their mouth but I actually feel bad this time I really do because it's a lot because I guess what's difficult to process is how people um, view me, right? I got in this to do. I'm turning the light so y'all can see me. Yesterday I was looking like goddamn Dark Vader with the fucking uh, 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 warped camera. I was like, why has got me looking like Skeletor and shit? My husband was like, the way you hold the camera. I was like, I don't look like that, do I? He was like, no, guys, no. I gotta fucking turn the light on. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking for the damn remote. The fan remote, but um, I go here. But let me go here. So I um, like I said, it's not too many times I feel bad about dragging somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like I I do. I really feel bad about dragging him the way that I did. I know that I can be lethal. I know that. I know that if it comes to a battle of the tongue, I'm a win. You see what I'm saying? Like, and that's that's like misusing what I've been given to do because I use my tongue, I use my mouth to make people laugh or to inform people. But cutting him down the way that I did. Yeah, it's like, no, no, when you when you wrong, when you wrong, you should be able to apologize. There's there's nothing wrong with me apologizing at all. Okay? So um and see when I get sent alive, right, and everybody's telling me I I can tell I can show you the DMs like it was just I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So when I get in there and he's saying Oh, yes, yeah, she can go to jail. Like, 
and you're supposed to be a lawyer. I'm like, are you serious? So you really, you really on here? I felt like it was a gaslight for views. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, why is it that every time like there's a new YouTuber coming out, they use my name to kind of climb the charts? You see what I'm saying? I, I do news. I don't do news on none of them. I, I can care less. But if we can get petty, we can get petty. You understand what I'm saying? And so this ain't the first time like I was in a live when somebody sent it to me like during that Cardi case. And he was just kind of spitting off the top of his head. And I was just like, well, I thought you were an attorney. You should know how things work. If I don't have a strong case, I don't have a strong case. But anybody that's in a litigation is going to say or tell people, hold on for a second, that they have the best case. I need to take this goddamn screen protector off this shit. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to think that they have a bad case. But for him to base my case and him claiming to be a lawyer off of... um. Like two cases don't, two cases don't make, don't speak for the other. These are two very different cases. And for him to rope in both cases, I was just like, but you're an attorney. You're, you're an attorney. Like you should, you should know how to differentiate between the two cases. And so that, that's, and, and when I saw that, and then when people were sending me the live yesterday, he was saying, I can go, what the fuck can I go to jail for? And if people saw, if people really use common sense, I mean, any, any attorney, you know what I'm saying? I have attorneys, I have friends that are attorneys. I have three sets of attorneys that work for me. I almost said three like this, y'all. <laughs> I have three sets of attorneys that do very different sets of work. So y'all get so you guys seen that um she apologized in the video. You can find this video on her channel. Um I just gotta say that a lot of times these people they send these videos, they wanna see some drama, they wanna see some action, and they I call them instigators. People in the comment sections, followers, subscribers, they're instigators, they wanna see something pop off. Um honestly, a lot of these people are not. And it's not for your best interest I'm just being honest a lot of people are not for your best interest and they don't take time to do the research and see what's really going on they just see something and they run with it um lead attorney's video i didn't watch the whole full four hours but i watched bits and pieces of it it's just really a lot of shoulda coulda woulda's you could have went to jail i mean you you could go to jail um um based on this scenario it's not your fault it's the other person's fault it was a lot of shoulda coulda woulda nothing really set in stone a lot of speculation just a lot of ramble and a lot of talk but to be honest a lot of these people are climbing the charts using other people's name to get to the top and get to where they need to be um Tasha K is good at what she does. Hats off to her. But a lot of people, they're doing, they have to do these same things to get to where they need to go to. The same way um, Tasha K, she interviews celebrities. At one time, you had to start somewhere to get to where you're at now. And now you're one of the people that's in the loop that people discuss so they can get that clout. Everybody's trying to get clout some type of way. But I really do commend her for apologizing um, for the situation because sometimes we just do that. People, we're not perfect. People um, do things off a of whim and, 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 and sometimes we react without knowing all the facts. And it, it's, it's good that a big YouTuber such as her can get on here and apologize and show people that, look, it's okay to do that. Um, it's okay to not to put your pride or your ego to the side just to give the people what they're looking for and to um, apologize and show some humility when, when we're wrong for what we're doing. Right here, even in the video, um, right here, Tasha K drags the lead attorney. I even have a video on there of as um, stated as a deleted clip. But if you see the comments in here, it says... Let's read some of the comments that people are saying. If you dish it out, but you can't take it, was a person. He didn't even disrespect her. That's why she deleted the drag. Whether you hate Tasha K or love her, she makes waves in these YouTube streets. 
I like that he breaks down info from legal perspective. Everything she explains has nothing to do with him liking her or not. He's not gossiping, just his perspective from attorney side, straightforward. Now, Tasha K is trying to drag a black man that's actually went through the grind of becoming an attorney. He was absolutely not gossiping. He was just putting out facts in Tasha K's legal case. Tasha looks under pressure. The 10 years in weighing is weighing in her heavy. So a lot of people were feeling this way after they watched the live. And then when they actually first went to the live, Tasha K just sent out a warning shot. The lead attorney should take her seriously. She'll look up everything and use it. Tasha is brilliant on her own in her own way, but man, her mouth. Lead attorney, we waiting on your response, sir. These YouTube beasts are very entertaining. There was a few clips on here speaking on his perspectives and his opinions about black men and black women and how they do things, but still that had nothing to do with how he felt about Tasha K personally. And I think a lot of people was getting that confused with the whole um he don't like black women versus um he likes white women and how he feels about black women because his opinions about how we move versus how black men move. And so I think a lot of people were trying to find something in the video that related to the live clip but really couldn't just put the pieces together and that's why a lot of times when these people send these messages and they send these links and they get in the dms they are not for your best interest they're trying to be messy they're trying to start something they're trying to ignite something and they just want to see some entertainment and they want to see some drama and uh, and, and, and we have to just be very careful and look out for ourselves because if we don't, then we'll let the people lead us and let the people control our behavior. And then we'll have to be the one to clean it up at the end of the day. That's all I got to say about that. You guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.